So this is definitely giving 1985. You think it looks cute in the front? Uh huh. Hey y'all, what's going on? I am gonna be showing you how I do my roller sets on my very short natural hair today. I wanted to do a very thorough tutorial for y'all because when I posted my hair on Instagram, like y'all went crazy, which I did not expect whatsoever. I was kind of like feeling iffy about the hairstyle to be honest, but after seeing y'all's responses, I can tell that like, okay, we might be onto something. You and I have different hair, but this is how I've been able to achieve this style on my own hair. Now in this video, I'm actually gonna be doing something different than what I initially did in my first attempt at this style. The first time I did this style, I did use a flat iron to just get some of the pieces in the front to be a little bit more smooth and like, less of a curl, but this time I'm actually gonna use a different tool to achieve the same look, crossing our fingers, so that we can get this whole look achieved without touching a flat iron. Okay, so let's start by talking prep. So I just washed my hair, double cleansed it. Okay, so I used a shampoo two times because I wanna be using fresh, fresh hair on this. I don't want any residue from any of the creams and oils and things that I used previously. Here are some of my favorite shampoo and conditioner combos since I've been roller setting my natural hair. So first up, we have the Living Proof Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this combo. I've been using these two for years, especially whenever I'm using heat on my hair. These products really work and set a solid foundation for styling my natural hair. If you are a silk press girly or a heat style girly at all, Press Agent Shampoo and Conditioner from Mazzani is that girl girls. I started using the Moroccan Oil Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner because I saw a bunch of hairstylists using these. So if hairstyles are using these, that means they gotta be good and they are really good. Another major key for when I'm styling my hair in a roller set, I'm using a detox shampoo, clarifying shampoo of some sort like this one from Mish Beauty. I love this. I'll use this and then double cleanse again with one of the other shampoos to really give my hair a good reset. And after I use this, I'm following up with her or her because both of these are just everything. Leave your hair feeling so good, so soft, so moisturized and ready for a restyle. Then I used a conditioner. Today I used the Restore Conditioner from Living Proof. So good, it's one of my favorites. So that I can have like a really conditioned, moisturized, but clean base to start off with. Y'all already know if you are a silk press girl that anytime you use like heat products on your hair when you're natural, you want to use very, very clean hair before doing a heat style because that's what's gonna give you that fluffy, silky result at the end of the day. And yes, I am natural. Did I say that? I do have a little bit of a texturizer still on my tips, but at this point I feel like the texturizer has like worn off because it was literally like nine months ago that I did the texturizer last. But essentially, I'm pretty much natural all the way around except for like the tips of my hair. So I wanted to say that if you are relaxed or natural, you can totally achieve this look. It just may vary based on how smooth you can get your results as far as whether you're relaxed or natural and like what texture of hair you have because that does matter. That does play a factor in how smooth you can get your hair without using a flat iron. Okay, so let's get into it. The rollers that I'm using today are these and this. So these are, these are the rollers that like Dominican hair salons use. I like them a lot because of the ridges. So if you can see, there are ridges on here. So literally when you roll your hair, they like hook to your hair and help you get that tension that you want to get um, whenever you're rolling your hair. So I really like these a lot and also the holes in here let your hair dry a bit faster than your standard like magnetic roller. You can use regular magnetic rollers if you want for this hairstyle. You may need to adjust the drying time. And also I think it's a little bit more difficult to roll with the magnetic rollers because they are smooth than it is with these because these help you just tack your hair on and so you don't have to use as much skill to get your hair smooth with these. So I prefer these ones over the other ones but you can totally use those other ones as well. 
I'll link both options down below. These are definitely gonna give you a tighter curl. These are gonna give you a looser curl. I prefer these because this gives you a more like voluminous, like bigger shape, which is more of like the vibe we're going for. But I use these as well because in the back of my hair, my hair is really short. So the shorter your hair, the smaller you need to do your rollers because these ones, I'm gonna try to use more of these than these, but we'll see if my hair will like stay in them um, or if they'll unravel, I'll have to use these. So as far as products that we're using, I'm using water. This is an old spray bottle from another product. There's water in here. Then I also use liquid glass spray from the dry bar. So usually you use this on like a blowout or if you're doing a silk press, but it's basically like a smoothing sealant to help with frizz and it's supposed to last up to three washes. I don't really test that part because I'm just gonna use it again even though I used it the last time that I did this. But I like to spray this on all of my sections as well to just help with like getting that smooth look. And for the foam, now everybody uses Nairobi. I've used Nairobi, I love Nairobi. It's a good, great product. But I prefer this one. This is the Influence It's Natural Honey Almond Styling Foam. This right here, y'all, gives you such a touchably soft hold that you can comb through, that you can just do whatever with, and it will not, like, lose its shape. So I love this. I've been using this ever since I got my hair cut super short, and it is, like, I just... I'm obsessed with this foam for sure. And you can use a lot of this without worrying that it's gonna create too much of a cast because you can really go in on this and it's not gonna give you like a crunch at all. Now as far as finishers, I like to use some sort of oil to like break up my hair and kind of like give it some shine at the very end. Today I'm using the Moroccan oil treatment. There's hair on this. <laughs> this product right here is really good for that. It also has like I don't know, other stuff in it. It's just the first oil that I picked up, so I'm gonna be using this today. And then I'm also using the Influence Oil Sheen as like a finisher as well. So these are gonna be the products that I'm using today. And of course you're gonna need a rat tail comb. Now as far as securing the rollers, you can use pins, which I, li I really like using pins. These are a little bit, take a little minute to like get used to using these, but these really do keep these specifically intact. So you put them in like this. They like, these pins like fit through the hole like that and then they stay secured basically on your head like in this, I don't know how it works but it works. <laughs> so you can use these or since I lost a bunch of those, I use a bunch of these like bigger clips and these work same as well. So you can use either the pins or clips like this. And before I go underneath the dryer, I also use one of these like hair nets to secure all the rollers to make sure even if some of them get a little loose, they stay like intact on my head. All right, I think we're ready to start. So I know some people like to start like in the front of their hair. I like to start in the back of my hair just because that's the hardest part for me. And I use these clips to like help me organize myself because my hair is so short in the back. So that we can focus on this section back here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my liquid glass. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of water because I want my hair to be almost soaking wet before I add my foam. Foam, this much for both sections. Now I'm gonna do my first roller. I'm gonna comb it out like this, make it sure it's smooth, okay? I'm gonna take my clip and I'm gonna clip it in here, okay? Make sure your clip is gonna round towards the same angle as your, as your roller so that it makes sense and that you're hooking it inside of the roller to the hair that's already on your head. That's when it's gonna keep it, that's what's gonna keep it secured. So see, that's it. That's all you gotta do. That, it's literally that simple. But I'm gonna speed it up, but show you the full process here so that you can see how I do my whole head.
All right, y'all, so I'm done under the dryer, 45 minutes. Then I did a little bit of makeup, which is probably another 10, 15 minutes to like cool everything down. So we should be ready to go. Now, if this is your first time doing a roller set, whatever you do, do not take these down without them being 100% dry, okay? I'm telling you, even if it's a little damp, even if it's a little cold, that means it's not all the way dry yet. So you have to really make sure it's completely dry because if you don't, even if it looks smooth in the beginning, 20, 30 minutes to an hour later, it's gonna puff up. So just don't, don't fall for it, especially if your hair is longer, it's gonna take your hair a minute to dry. Depending on your hooded dryer too, some hooded dryers aren't as powerful as others. So like, it could take your hair a minute under the dryer to dry, but it's worth it. it even if you gotta sit under there for two hours, like it's worth it, sis. It really is because you do not want to waste all your hard work. See that one? Ooh, that one's a little. See that one got messed up a little bit. See, it's a, it's a little crinkly, but that's okay because we took a chance doing these bigger ones on my shorter hair. But that's all right because I have a solve for that in the next step. But we're gonna take these rollers down and we're gonna see what we got. Okay, so this is what we got going on. We got a lot of shine, we got a lot of volume. And since we use those bigger rollers, we have a little bit less of like a curl curl going on. So let's see, I'm gonna take some of that Moroccan oil. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hands. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. Just a little bit to coat my hands and I'm gonna start just working it through here. Let's see, we got a little bit of we got a little bit of texture right here on my edges, but that's okay because I think we can get that we can get that straight with this next step. This is my debate at this point. My first idea is to use saran wrap, wrap my hair to get a little bit more sleek of a like look so that it kind of like goes down a bit and that'll help like calm these curls down. My second idea, which is what I'm gonna do today, is using a brush like this. This is the shark, like, I don't know, the shark style. So these like come as attachments and so I'm using this round brush attachment and I'm going to round brush it a little bit more smooth instead of using the flat iron to get the other parts smooth. This is a theory. This is a working theory. So we gonna see how this turns out. Oprah in the 80s, okay? This is giving like my mom. <laughs> Woo. Uh, let me think, y'all. Let me think of what we should do at this point. I'm not completely, <laughs> I'm not completely mad at it. I feel like there's something I need to do. Like, I need to, maybe I need to, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wrap it, I'm gonna wrap it and let it sit for a second. I'm gonna get the saran wrap. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so I'm gonna go sit back under the dryer for a few more minutes and see if this helps like give us a, <laughs> give us something to work with, okay? Because I'm, 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 I'm kind of like teeter-tottering right now on what this gonna look like at the end. <laughs> okay, so we are back from sitting under the hair dryer for about five, 10 minutes. So we gonna see what we got to work with, okay? So let's see if this did anything for us. It's not moving. 
I mean, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did it, did it give us something? Yeah. Did it give us something to work with? Yeah. I don't know. It's still not doing what I want it to do completely. It did, it did give us, it did calm us down a little bit. It did flatten us a little bit. It did, it did. Let me get, I need my, Dad, okay. what did you got that from? What? What did you got that from? No more talking, no more talking, okay? Okay. Okay, okay so I got my white tooth comb. So we can see if we have something to work with. It did tame it down a little bit. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. I'm not gonna lie, that did actually help. That helped. The silk wrap is still giving Oprah, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter down there, if y'all hear her laughing. I'm about to just part it. Just part Bye. I'm just parting it, baby. But you can't find it because you get it, get it, get it. You gotta, you gotta rip the hair. What? You gotta rip the hair. No, I'm not. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. But I mean, I. <laughs> I feel like it's better when I don't have like the part showing. This is the back. This is the back. And. So this is definitely giving 1985, but what? <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like it's somewhat salvageable. Like I'm not terribly mad about it. Like I could wear it. It's not a complete dud. Yes, but... it is a dud. <laughs> I mean, I guess, around dang. It looks so cute in the, in the front. You think it looks cute in the front? Uh-huh. You think so? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Sarah. I'm not yes, convinced. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm not convinced. Yes. I'm not convinced. You are convinced. I'm not. Yes, you are. I feel like. Yes, you are. I feel like. I just... <laughs> I don't know. This is not what I would thought. This isn't what I thought it was gonna give at all. It is. Really it's it. not. Yes, it is. We did achieve the not needing to use a flat iron, so that part I'm happy about because most of this battle is the way my hair is growing out and like the cut. The cut is what's making it really look like. <sighs> but what I can say is I feel like. If I wear this out for a couple days and it kind of gets like a little bit more calmed down, then I might, I might feel better about it. I don't know how I feel about it right now. Um, it's yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I feel like the 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 technique is right. So I'm definitely gonna keep the technique in my back pocket as my hair grows out. I don't know. Like, come on now, my ten. What's wrong? Okay, show them your nails. Look, your hands are so dirty, girl. What you got going on? <laughs> All right, say bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching down below. <laughs> say comment down below. Comment down below. Say thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>